Good evening, this is Night Prayer for Wednesday, January the 12th. It's year one, Epiphany one, and week one of the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 14, and Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 to 10. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Alleluia, the refuge of the just is Yahweh. Alleluia. Psalm 14. Fools have said in their heart, there is no God above. Their deeds are corrupt, depraved. There is no good person left. From heaven you look down on the people of the earth <clears throat> to see if any are wise, to see if any seek you. All have left the right path, depraved every one. There is no good person left, no, not even one. Will the evil evildoers not understand? They eat up my people as though they were eating bread, and they never pray to me. See how they tremble with fear, for I am with the just. You may mock the hope of the poor, but their refuge is with me. Oh, that Israel's salvation might come from Zion. When you deliver your people from bondage, then Jacob will be glad, and Israel rejoice. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The refuge of the just is Yahweh. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. You were dead because of your sins and offenses, which you committed in your allegiance both to the present age and to the ruler of the power of the air, that spirit who is even now at work among us, the children of rebellion. And all of us were among them. We lived at the level of the flesh, following every whim of the flesh, every fancy of this age, and so by nature deserved God's wrath like the rest. But God, rich in mercy and loving, brought us to life in Christ, even when we were dead in our sins. It is through this grace that we have been saved. God raised us up and in union with Christ gave us a place in the heavenly realm to display in ages to come how immense are the resources of God's grace and kindness in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> and it is by grace that you have been saved through faith, and even that is not of yourselves but the gift of God, nor is it a reward for anything that you have done, so nobody can claim credit. We are God's work of art created in Christ Jesus to do the good things God created us to do from the beginning. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne, and illumine this day with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name, 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.